could just figure out what it is that the guy wants before he comes back. If anyone asks you, you don't know anything. Or I'll slit that pretty little throat of yours. We just, it, what could someone possibly have? It's don't. don't, don't even think that. Look at you. What are you expecting? The ghost of the crazy curator? Oh, huh? ha ha. Like, you're not How are you doing, Marina? Right? I'm fine. I'm, I'm totally Good. fine, yeah. What's wrong, Miss Lewis? Oh. Um, actually, I was just going to ask you the same thing. Are you in some kind of trouble? Hello? Benjamin. Ramona, hi. I've been waiting for your call. Yeah, I've been meaning to call you. Well, then I guess I saved you the trouble. I was wondering if you had an answer for me. An answer? Did I wake you, Benjamin? You seem a little foggy. No, no. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm wide awake. Good. That's just the way I like it. So, I was wondering if you were ready to make a commitment. You know, make our arrangement a regular part of your schedule. Benjamin. Uh, I'm right here. And actually, I was wondering if you'd like to get together today. I'm at the Beacon. Perfect. I'll book the suite. I'll be waiting in the lobby. My kids would love this. I'm sorry, you must have the wrong room because I'm actually getting better. I'm, I'm almost on my way home. Check her vitals? Okay, according to this chart, she's suffering from an acute case of hospital titus. Oh, left untreated, it could get very, very... Ugly, very yeah. ugly, yes. Definitely showing all the symptoms. Playing with the remote control in her hospital bed. Mm -hmm. Not recognizing her best friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going to have to operate. That's right. Get away from me. <laughs> oh, come on, you didn't know it was us. These are great costumes. Aren't these great costumes? You guys are going to have to work a little harder at being undercover. Come on, I saw your curly hair, oh, Blake, and I brought those shoes with you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look what we have for you. <laughs> Rick said you can have whatever you want as long as we leave him some. <laughs> he would. <laughs> this is all for me? Of course it is. And us too. Dope. <laughs> this is your party, Harley. Welcome back to life. Basketball. You play? No, no. Our father wouldn't allow it. He didn't want his children to learn how to be team players. That's very sad. Yeah, it is. But my son Philip, he was a good player, especially when he was young. I guess sports like uh, basketball is uh, something that. Uh, fathers and sons have in common. What about you? What about me? I, I, was, I was just wondering about you and your father. Uh, no. No, no, I'm fine. I'm not in trouble. You know, not any more than usual anyway. <laughs> Really? Mom. It, no, I just, I, I just want Marina to know that she could tell us if there was some kind of a yeah, problem. Yeah, of course, of course, of course I would. Shane, I tell everyone everything, right? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Mom, she's okay. She's yeah, fine. She, she looks like she's fine to me, too. Hey, why don't we go out to the car and get the rest of the stuff, and then we can track down our daughter. Come here. Come here for me. You want to tell me what that was about? It, it was really nothing. It, it, it was just a feeling, I guess. Just tell me. 
it's no big deal. It came and it went. It's probably just jet lags making me loopy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Just... What's up with your mom, though? She was acting really weird. <laughs> yeah, what else is new? She just got back from Vienna. She mm -hmm. went to talk to these doctors about this thing that's been happening to her. She was... Well, she thinks she's feeling what people think. It's kind of like reading minds. I think that's what she thought she was doing with you or something. That's, that's very spooky. <laughs> it was a sight. <laughs> Mom, there you are. How is Vienna? Excuse me, excuse me. Come through. Come through. Come through. Oh, I missed you so much, but I brought presents. Uh, hey, you <laughs> guys, I, I think I'm actually going to get out of here. I thought Ben was going to be here, but he's not. So. I think oh. he said something about the beacon. Oh, well, excellent. Then that is where I'll be. Okay. Yes, when you have it. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss, Miss Lewis, um... The other day when you and all the moms were like, you know, cleaning stuff out in here, you didn't find anything unusual, did you? Uh, can you be more specific? <laughs> I would if I could. Well, all I really remember is a whole lot of garbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's really not a big deal. We'll see ya. Okay. Marina, I'm gonna call you later. Like you care. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened on your trip? What did the doctors say, huh? Did they say that you got superpowers or what? And I hope so, because I need you to read my math teacher's mind for the test on Tuesday. There you go. <gasps> Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh, I forgot how nice it was to have somebody brush your hair. It's <laughs> mm. good, isn't it? Wait, wait, yes. wait, right here, 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 here. Am I done? Nice. Well, get me. <gasps> oh no, I don't mean my hair, I mean... Oh my gosh, I look like... Somebody who was shot and almost died? Yeah. Yeah. Here, I have something else for you to cheer you up. Pictures. Oh, I can't look. No, oh. I also took them last night. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at my guy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I <laughs> Clarissa this. and Zach, it's love. It's love. So I like cute. the one of Kevin and Jason holding Jude upside down. That's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> was he breathing? <laughs> he looks blue. <laughs> oh, you guys. These are the best. You guys are the best. Yeah. Tell Ross I said thank you. Mm -hmm. This is terrific. I cannot wait to get out of here and get my hands on these little guys. Yeah, well, they miss you too, you know. They do, especially Zach. Yeah. I think it's going to be... He just got you back, you know? Oh, he won't let anybody do anything for him. I can't tie his shoes, I can't read him a story, I say, it's only mommy. <laughs> You're killing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> when are you getting out of here? Well, actually, I'm hoping tomorrow. I mean, I don't want to get my hopes up or anything, but I'm starting to go a little nuts. I, I really think that I can do my recuperating at home with my kids so that they don't forget what it's like to spend time with me. Oh, that's not going to happen. You think so? Mm. I feel like all I've done is shuffle those guys around because of my work. And then this happens because of my work. I mean, what is this? This is my job? Tearing my family apart? Hey. What is this? Working mother's guilt? Yeah, we all go through it. Well, at least you guys don't have to worry about, you know, getting mortally wounded on the job. It just makes me wonder if it's worth it. Don't you love being a cop? Yes, but I love my family, too. I mean, you've got your kids, you've got your family, and you've got the people you love. What else really matters? I'm at my wit's end, Nolan. I don't know where else to look for Alan. <laughs> hey, Alex. Rick. What's wrong with you? You look like you lost your best friend. My brother, he's disappeared. He's disappeared? Oh, that's great. Good timing, Alex. I was just about to, to tell you we're ready to take him for this MRI. <laughs> Uh, listen, I got, I got some time. I can help you find him. Please. Yeah, please. no problem. Right. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Bauer. Uh, yeah. Hi, it's me. I'm uh, Scott Archer from the county clerk's office. Hi, Scott. Can I get to speak to you for a moment? Uh, listen, this is not a good time. Uh, Alex, you go ahead. I'll be right behind you, okay? Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Just a second. I am, uh, I'm so sorry about this. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I shouldn't have left him all of that. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna check down the hall. This was not supposed to be this complicated. Alan, if anything's happened to you, I will never forgive myself. I... What's the matter with you? Are you okay there, Big Al? I would be if I could give them the slip. But I know they'd catch me. It's only a matter of time before they would catch me. Who's they? You don't want to know. And I don't want to tell you. All right. So you're asking about my father? I was? I, I, maybe you weren't from that. Forget it. Well, maybe it, maybe it was the voices that I hear in here. You see, they, they make me say things and, and do things that I wouldn't normally do. You're scaring me, Big Al. You sound, it sounds pretty sc scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very scary at times. I... Wait. Wait, I remember now. Basketball. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Uh, did your father play basketball? No. My father liked all sports, pretty much. Mm. Baseball, mostly. Mm. Cubs games. Used to watch a couple Bulls games. Taught me how to shoot a jump shot. A jump shot, really? That was a pretty difficult one. Let me see. Go ahead. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was uh, pretty impressive. I bet your father was proud of you. I don't know, Al. You proud of your kids? Oh, I'm proud of both my boys, Alan Michael and Philip. They left. They what? They left. Every, uh, everyone's gone now. Well, that's a very sad story, Al. Yeah, it is sad. I, uh, guess it was mostly my fault. I, I, I must have been terrible to Philip. I can't really remember, but that's what people tell me. But I'm still his father. Tell me, don't you think that I deserve a second chance? I don't know. Maybe. The hospital, isn't it? You're, do you're a doctor, right? No, Al. I'm a cop, actually. A cop? That means you help people. Maybe, maybe you could help me get my son back. following me what and that guy that guy right over there is that guy looking at me no he's not okay ben i gotta tell you something it's about the museum look later marina no, all right i have no, a business ben, meeting in ben, about i will two talk minutes. really fast okay this is really important it was the, it was look, when you look we were fine the right now and okay guys, this has to wait until you, you can't just barge into me at work whenever you feel like it look, i'm sorry but my boss is gonna be here any second now. okay hello ben. hello hello oh, are you gonna introduce us Sure. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, Mrs. Hendon, this is Marina Cooper, my girlfriend. Marina. Hey. Well, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Ben has told me so much about you. Really? Yes, he has. And it seems that we have a lot in common. So, Mom, did you get to check out that place I told you about? With the big Ferris wheel where they serve chicken dinners and big beers? You were too young to know about beer when Dad took us there. 
He gave me a sip. Wait a minute now. I don't remember that at all. You know, actually, I did pass by that place on my way back to the hotel one night, and it looked so beautiful. It was all lit up. Mm -hmm. But I thought, no, I'm not going to go. I'm going to save that fun stuff for when we have a family visit there. I pretty much stayed focused on why I was there at the time. And what did you find out? Did you figure out why you're reading minds? Yes and no. I mean, Dr. Langham tried to explain it all to me in layman's terms, but it was still difficult to try to wrap my head around it. And it's a little difficult to try to explain to you, too. I'm just giving you your best shot. OK. Dr. Langham is a psychiatrist who specializes in the study of science energy, or energy science. Anyway, it's, it's the energy that is given off from people who are both dead and alive. And some people have the ability to be able to receive that energy and read it. So then it's like a common thing? You're not an X-Man? Uh, well, unfortunately, no, I'm not. But the ability to receive this energy has a lot to do with the fact that I tend to be an emotional person. <laughs> no. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's been an emotional year, you know, with Richard's death and the trial and then the stalker business. And I was open to receive that energy. I mean, it could go away as easily as it came on, and then I'll just go back to being your ordinary, regular wife and mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for that day to come. Yeah, well. This is nothing for any of you to worry about. So that's it? That's the whole deal? I mean, you, you don't have to follow up with any different kind of therapy or anything? You just relax and it goes away? Uh, actually, uh, Dr. Langham is coming to make a speech at Springfield University. And he's going to conduct a study while he's here, too. He wants to study you? Uh, no. No. Uh, he asked me to be a, a part of it, but... The more I thought about it, the more I, I thought it was really a, a good idea. Wow. So, yeah, well, I knew you'd be relieved. I know I am, and, and I understand why you would be. I do. I mean, it's time to move on. I know everything I need to know about this gift of mine. And you're comfortable with that? Very comfortable. OK. So it sounds like the trip was worthwhile? Absolutely. And until this second side of mine goes away, I want you all to know that I intend to use my abilities for good, not evil. <laughs> but I would beware of any bad thoughts you have of me. You might as well just say them out loud, because chances are I can read them <laughs> and hear them. <laughs> well, I will keep that in mind, but I'm just glad to have you back, and maybe things can calm down a little bit now. Yeah. Welcome home. Um, so... What am I thinking right now? <laughs> I'm sensing something about a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there, there is something I should do right, right away, is uh, go see Harley. Um, but I'll be back just as soon as I can. I can't help you. Not with your problems with your son, Philip, okay? That's your problem. That's your guy's problem. I thought you just told me that you were going to help me get my son back. I... Well, maybe there's something that I can't help you with, okay, huh? Look, I need all the help I can get right now. Did you ever hear of a woman named Regina? Regina? It's a pretty name, man. Beautiful Italian woman, Philip's nanny time ago. Regina. Bella Regina. Yes. I wonder if she's upstairs. I I, I need to check on Philip. I haven't seen no, him. No, 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 Al, Al. Big Al, you're doing that thing again. No, this was a long time ago. Philip's a grown man now. And the reason that I bring her name up is because, you see, as it turns out, this woman, she's very important to both of us. I've been meaning trying to tell you this. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. 
Alan, here you are. You're supposed to be inside getting your chest. <laughs> I was about to call the police. Well, isn't that funny, Alex? I'm here talking with the police. Yes, so you are. You two having a nice chat? Oh, yeah, we're having a lovely chat. We were talking about fathers. Is that so? Yes. And it uh, sounds like he had a pretty good father, unlike our father. Yes, well, Brandon was one of a kind, wasn't he? <laughs> Thank goodness. Nolan, I found him. Nolan, will you please stay with Mr. Spaulding? No, you know what, Nolan, don't. Please go home. I'm going to stay with Mr. Spaulding. Well, actually, I have to speak with you for a moment. Excuse us. All right, sir. All right, what the hell do you think you are doing? You see the condition this man is in? You want to push him right over the edge. What is wrong with him? Is he on something? My brother will be fine if you keep what you know to yourself. You spread this whole mess, spill it, and you will throw him over the edge, Your I know. Your brother is acting like he just had a lobotomy. I can take care of my brother if you oh. stay out of the way. Is that what you now. think? Is that what you think? Yes, I do. I know it. Gus, nothing good can come from you telling Alan that you are his son. Not now. Not for Alan, not for you. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Archer? I know you're busy, Dr. Bauer. I'll get, I'll get right to the point. We need a new county medical examiner. Now, I know, <laughs> coming at you out of nowhere here, but we're, we're just really in a jam. You seem like a good candidate. I mean, from, from what I understand, you've had a great deal of training in forensic yeah, medicine. That was a very long time ago. Doesn't matter. You've got the qualifications we're looking for. And, you know, as you know, it's, it's a part-time job, so, you know, it won't interfere with your regular duties here at Cedars. Uh, I don't understand. What happened to Jed Simmons? Did he resign? He, uh, it's, uh, Dr. Simmons, um, seems to have dropped off the face of the earth. He didn't show up for work one day, and, uh, he hasn't answered his calls, and, uh, hasn't returned to his house. It's, that's, uh, strange. Yeah. Well, well, the FBI is on the case now, so hopefully, you know, we'll track him down. But in the meantime, we need a new M.E. I mean, we've got cases piling up on us already. I mean, I'm sorry to put you in a bind like this, Dr. Bauer, but I need to go back to the office with an answer. What the hell? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could really use a new challenge. That's great. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sandler, we're never, we're never going to get everything done, you know, our, our work done if we don't get going. So. Well, I just, I can't tear myself away. I'm having such a good time getting to know Marina. Oh, I'm having a good time getting to know Mrs. Hendon, too. Please, call me Ramona. Okay. Oh, man. What's wrong? Nothing. No, I just, I, you know. Don't you love uh. that about him? He's so good, you know? He's always, he's always just so on top of things. One of my favorite things about Ben. I hope you realize what a great guy you have here, Marina. You're a very lucky girl. Oh, well, you know, he's a very lucky guy. I guess it worked out pretty well for the both of us, huh? <laughs> well, isn't she delightful? Ben, would you mind getting me a drink before we move on? Uh, why don't we sit down? Okay. Do you think that's the best idea right now? Really, relax, Ben. <clears throat> it's all right, you know, if we're a little late for a meeting, it's no big deal. Besides, Marina and I promise to only say nice things about you behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> Marina, do you? Oh, no, I'm okay, thanks. <clears throat> you must be so great to be so just in control at your job, you know, just be able to make people wait. <laughs> I do that at my job, no tip for Marina. You know, I wanted to ask you how you liked the gift from Ben, the necklace. Oh, you knew about that? I loved it. Well, he was so excited he couldn't help himself. Really? Oh, that was fast. How's everything? Well, I'm having a great <clears throat> time getting to Marina. She's everything you said she was. You don't take that for granted. Believe me, I don't. You know how men can be. Oh, yeah, men. Well, don't let him get away with anything. You make sure that he treats you like a princess at all times. Well, I guess we better get going. The conference room is upstairs. Hey, how's that arm today, huh? Pretty good. Yeah? Well, let's yeah. test it out. Let's go on down to the park and uh, throw the ball around a little bit. What do you say? Uh, it's not really a good time. I already kind of made other plans. What are you talking about? Tomorrow. What plans? 
Uh, we're gonna go to a party. The two of you are gonna go to a party together? Yeah. You know, it's kind of weird, but he begged me. Okay. Well, if you're gonna do that, you, you, you don't stay out late because you have practice tomorrow. I'll be fine. And every practice makes a difference. You know that. Dad, it's cool that you're so supportive of the baseball thing. And I appreciate it, too. I just well, need some time for my life also, you know I, what I mean? I understand that. I just don't want you to let a good opportunity slip through your fingers, son. Like you did? Well, no, my situation was entirely different. I mean, yeah, my dad, he wanted me to go out for sports, just like your Uncle Billy and like Hamp and be the big guy on campus and all that, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go my own way. There's nothing wrong with that, that Dad. That, that's true. But, but see, the thing is, I, I gave up baseball because I didn't want to be compared to my older brother, the football star. It, it, it cost me. It cost me a lot of, a lot of time because I, I was so determined to be different. You still regret it? No. No, I don't regret it at all. I love my life. I got you guys and I have your mom and I'm a happy guy, but this isn't about me. This is about your brother. Son, son, I see the look in your eyes when you're on the pitching mat. D don't give up on your dream. See, if you do that, I'm afraid you'll never be able to forgive yourself. <laughs> so how was it? How was the trip? Did you do the Sound of Music tour? Uh, know. Well, no, really. All I know about Austria is all the fun things that I didn't do that everybody told me I should do. So, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you all about it. Um, I, I really do need to get yeah, in okay. some Harley. I'll, I'll be here. Okay. okay. Great. said it's a pretty close call I didn't hear it from the doctors Harley I saw it what do you what do you mean you saw it you and Nadine when you were in the ER I I saw your mom come for you I know how strange this sounds, but I, I saw what I saw. Uh, you and your mom, when you were in trouble in ER, I, I, I mean, am I crazy? Was she here? No, you're not, you're not crazy. I just, I can't believe that you know this. I, yes, um, there was a moment when I was in the ER and, and I flatlined mm -hmm. and, she was there. <laughs> so, well, was it wonderful? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, what I'm, I'm seeing her. Yes, <laughs> seeing her was was wonderful. She's the reason that I came back for my kids. So you believe? You know what? I was trained as a police officer, you know. They teach us you can't believe anything that you don't see with your own eyes or hear yourself. And I'm telling you, I saw her. And I heard her. Are you okay? No. <laughs> I should be asking you that question. <laughs> well, I'm okay. You want to see my stick? Oh, that cheers no. everybody up. Not the next thing on your fanny. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 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 I'm. You know, I'll. I'll go. I'm gonna leave you two alone. But if you need anything, seriously, you'll give me a call. Oh, I'll call um, you. Josh <laughs> sends all kinds of love. Yeah. Say hi to him and the kids. Mwah. See you. See you. Okay. Hey, 
Is Harley okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's she's great, but uh, I was right. I saw Harley and her mom when Harley was in the ER. Okay. And <laughs> Isn't this one of those things you discussed with that doctor in Vienna? Yeah. Okay. So, he thinks that you have a gift? He thinks this is the real thing? Well, that's how I would like to think of it, but I'm not so sure I should. Okay, so why is this a bad because thing? Because I'm having these feelings that the shooting, the Harley shooting, is only the beginning of things that are going to happen to her, and it's frustrating knowing these things before she even does. So where were you? I was uh, playing a little basketball. <laughs> playing basketball? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe if I stay in here long enough, you'll be ready for the pros. <laughs> no, that's not going to be happening. <laughs> Want to take a little walk? Get some air? I think you should. Let's go. Up. This is going to hurt. Up, 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 up. Don't be a chicken. Come on. <laughs> chicken? I've had three children. Oh, stop it. Ready? You can do this. Does that hurt? Yeah, it all hurts. Right, come on. All right, we can take ourselves a little walk. Get some air for you, right? I'm going to tell you about the strangest conversation I've ever had. Really? Uh, the PET scan shows when uh, various diseases cause uh, particular parts of the brain to fire. It also highlights uh, drug receptors. Drug receptors? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean you can tell if Alan's taking some sort of drug that would alter his mental state or something? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's, that's amazing information. Thank you for being so thorough. Oh, um, you, you're welcome, Alex. If there's anything else that you need, just let me know, okay? No, I think I have everything I, I need to know for now. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to you later. This week... You're giving me orders now? Don't cross these bodacious babes. Would you stop it? Because there's a thin line. Just because you lured me into the bedroom last night does not mean I'm going to follow you over the cliff today. If you're going to apologize to me, save your breath, okay? Between love and hate... You think you could just romance me and everything will be fine? No! On The Young and the Restless. I hate to leave you, you know right what? now. It's fine. Just go. So work seems to be going pretty good, huh? I hope so. Well, your boss seems to really love you. Yeah, yeah, I guess she does. Right. Marina, this job is, um... What I want to say is that I really feel like I'm doing it for both of us. You know, I mean, the money is great, and I'm making and some good connections. Ben, you know what? You don't have to explain anything, okay? Just go. You know what? Go, go to work, knock him dead, all right? You're the best. So are you. Very funny, Ramona. Oh, lighten up, Ben. Everything is fine. I was really glad that I get to meet Marina. <laughs> Just take it. You can think about me while you're at work. That's my handkerchief. Hey, I have an idea. It sounds a little crazy, but why don't you make it a new show and use your psychic powers? No. No. No, no, no. Well, unless, of course, you want to co-host with me. You know, we could be the psychic sister. Oh, come on. It has a nice ring <laughs> it, to it. It really does, uh -huh. but I don't have any psychic powers. Well, well, I happen to remember a time when you told me that you saw Richard... I did, yeah. His spirit came to me right before he died, but it didn't happen before that. It hasn't happened since, so I'm sure it was just one time only thing. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so what does Josh and the kids think about this? Well, the kids are, the kids are actually fine with it. They're just thinking of it as another weird thing they know about their mother, but Josh is nervous. He's thinking of it as another, I'm sure, as another Reva crisis that's going to take over our lives. It doesn't have to take over No, lives. and I won't let it because I'm downplaying the whole thing. I mean, I didn't even tell any of them about the results of the tests I took over there. 
Okay, so tell me. I will, because I have to tell someone. Dr. Langham ran these tests, and my results were so high on the sensory charts. And the impressions that I've been receiving have been increasing in frequency, especially since I stepped off the plane back here. I wonder why. Who knows? All, all I do know is that uh, I've been having some very weird feelings. I feel like somebody's trying to tell me something. And it's scaring me to death. You ready, Ellen? Rick, this, uh, this won't hurt, will it? Oh, not at all. We're, we're just going to take a quick look at that vast billion-dollar brain of yours, and I'm sure once we start looking, we won't find anything at all. We'll be right back. Good. Alan, you're going to be just fine. Just fine. Come on, darling. We're going to go into this room over here, and that's where they're going to put you in this tube, you see, and that's where you're going to have the test. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to put me in a tube? Well, yes, they have to put you in the tubes and make certain that you stay very still for the test. But Rick says it's not going to take that long, maybe 30, 45 minutes. That's all you have That's a long to. time, Alex. I know you don't like being enclosed, darling. No, I don't like being enclosed. All right. Alan, maybe this is a good time for you to start working through that claustrophobia. You know, it's been a long time since Brandon locked you in that closet, Alan. It's time that you got over those fears, don't you think? Now, let's go on in. Can't be that bad. No, no. I won't let you do this, Alex. They're going to put me in that tube. Alex. Because if they put me in that tube, I won't be able to breathe. And I'm not going to put me in there, do you hear me? 